Hey guys, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com. When I first started this channel a long time ago with Duncan, Josh, Nuno, etc., they made a video titled 15 Random Websites and it became one of the most popular videos on this channel. And I wanted to come back and start bringing content like that back lists. And today I want to do a flip of that 15 useful websites. Now keep in mind, in their own respect, they're very random too. <laughs> but these are more beneficial tools that you may actually use from day to day. And I think all of them have sort uh, serve some type of benefit to you. So I want to try and get through these as quickly as possible. Again, I'm going to have a full write-up at digitaldojos.com with a link to all these, so check that out in the video description below. Let's get started. Number one, Google. Very simple, straightforward. Obviously, this has results to everything on the web, but furthermore, simple things like define. So if you ever type in define and then a word, you get to the definition at the top. If you type in a calculation of any sort here, again, straightforward, you hit enter, you get those results too. Uh, I think those are just fun little things that are people don't mean you know may not know about. It acts as a calculator, it can act as a translator, or you can define words all via Google.com. All the more reason to use it. Number two, eggtimer.com. That's actually e.ggtimer.com. Basically, if you ever want to set up a timer for anything, whether you're trying to count some, count down something, uh, they have special timers here. You can just start a timer, type in the time here, or you can do eggtimer.com slash five minutes slash one hour. It starts a timer just like this. Simple, straightforward, if you ever need a timer for whatever purpose here, cooking, so on and so forth. Also time related, cuckooclock.com. I used to use this way back in the day. Basically, it turns your web browser into an alarm clock. It has your current time, you set the alarm, you set the sound that you wanna wake up to. I recommend the military trumpet, it's very annoying. You hit set alarm and you're off to the races. Time Converter Zone, the timeconverterzone.com I should say. This is my favorite, I live overseas in Japan and I need to know a lot about the different time dates in certain areas, west coast, east coast, when I'm dealing with work. So to do this, basically it puts in your local time, you select the time here so you can see New York, this is the east coast, but if I wanna jump over to California, simply type in California, Oops, let me have that type that again. Select California, and you can see it automatically converts it. It's 6.02 a.m. over there in California right now. So very easy for adjusting times on the fly. Next up, accountkiller.com. This is really great for if you've ever wanted to delete any of your social media accounts and you don't know how or there's too many loopholes to jump through and you don't know where to go. Simple, straightforward, it teaches you where you need to go. For example, twitter.com, it will give you a direct removal link on how to do delete and confirm your deactivation of your account. And it tells you all tips and anything that you need to know regarding deleting that account. Down for everyone or just me.com. Essentially this checks to see if a website is down for you. Maybe it's your own internet or it's the web server end. So it's a website's end. So very simple. You type in a website like I did there earlier. Is digitaldojos.com down for everyone or just me? It's gonna tell you it's just you. It is up or the vice versa. If it's down for everybody, then you know it's not your fault, it's the web server's fault. 10minuteemail.com, basically if you re refresh this site every 10 minutes, it gives you a new email address to use as a temporary email address. So if you ever need to sign up for an account and you don't wanna use your own email address, or you're just, you know, you don't wanna set up a spam filter and go through that whole process, just use a 10 minute email address and it's that easy. Basically, I'll tell you if you have any messages and then it, again, deletes itself every 10 minutes. So it's a self-destructing email account essentially vid to mp3.com one of my favorites basically if you want to take a youtube video myspace any sort of video link you can convert it to an mp3 for your listening purposes on your own device or if you have a school project and you want to grab a clip off the web of some video simple you put the url here you hit download walk through the process save it as an mp3 and you're good to go screenfly this is a tool from quirktools.com basically for your web developers out there or site owners it allows you to test your website in multiple resolutions. So you can see here, you can test it, see how it looks like on different phones, different tablets. If your site's responsive, like mine is, you'll see it adjust on the fly. If not, you're gonna see where your design errors are and what it looks like on smaller screens, bigger screens, different resolutions, all that good stuff. Very, very useful tool. Again, I know I said <laughs> this isn't completely, these are more useful tools, but random.org, uh, despite its name, has very, very, very useful tools. You can get random drawings, number generators for giveaways, uh, sequence generators or inter integer generators, a lot of cool stuff, uh, random.org. Speedtest.net, basically, if you've ever wanted to test your ISP connection here, you can see I tested my download and upload speed, and you can see here in Japan, I get just about 90 down, 90 up, really, really good speeds here. Um, but if you ever want to test your own internet connection, see how your ISP stacks up against other people, or you just wanna make sure you're getting your, what you're paying for, all that good stuff, speedtest.net, iRuler.net. Essentially, it takes your resolution of your screen and it makes 
a ruler here. So this is all relevant to your screen. So your display, your resolution. Now you have a life, you know, a ruler that you can actually measure inches and millimeters on uh, to measure random objects. Or if you're just really bad at estimating, you can stick something up to the screen here. Now, please be wary of what you stick on your screens. <laughs> Next up, do I have a deadpixel.com? Simple, straightforward, you select a color, put this in full screen mode, and it'll test your monitor against the screen for dead or defective pixels if you think that you may have a dead pixel on your monitor. Longurls.org. Now this is the opposite of what tinyurls does. This expands tinyurls. Now the reason you would want to do this is because typically in social media or if you ever get private messages that say, hey, check out this picture I found of you on the web, and they give you some tiny URL, and you don't know if it's a bot account or something that may be phishing you or trying to hack you, you can take that URL, paste it here, expand it. It'll then tell you what the long URL is here. So you can see here, in this case, it's google.com. I know that's safe. I trust that. I can check that out. If not, if it's something suspicious, you may know then it's something else. <laughs> Next up and last, fiverr.com. Now, I've used this for a long time, and this is a really great one for making money on the web with simple techniques or just buying great services for an affordable price. Basically, it's what would you do for $5? Or what are you willing to buy for $5? Or what are you seeking for $5? Um, I have a gig on here where I make very, very basic video reviews for some people and I charge you know the basic price of $5. Now you can go in increments, you can go 5, 10, 15 when you become a top level seller. But they have a lot of cool stuff on here that you can get. You can get professional voiceover work, you can get um, you know, web website consulting, you can get all sorts of crazy services for the affordable price of $5. But do keep in mind, coming from a Fiverr seller, you are paying only $5. So you can't expect, you know, $1,000 worth of work. You are paying a basic price for a basic gig here. But it's a great way to make money on the web. I've made literally, I kid you not, thousands of dollars from the gigs I've done here. Actually, currently I have $4 sitting here because a call it Fiverr, but technically the $1 fee takes out the site, so you get paid $4, technically speaking. So these are my list of 15 useful websites. If you guys have some sites of your own that you want to recommend that are kind of quirky but fun tools and utilities to check out, leave them in the comments down below. I thank you guys for staying tuned and checking out this video. Of course, like it if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and check out digitaldojos.com for more content. Thanks for watching.